Hey guys, so I thought I would do a real quick intro to my next video because it starts off kind of all over the place, but I want you guys to know that this video will be about me buying my desk, but it does not get delivered until four days later, so I will be showing the reveal of my desk whenever I decorate my shelves, and then we are painting the IKEA shelves. So if you wanna to skip to that to just kind of learn how to paint them, make them your own and not so basic, then I suggest skipping like two minutes. But I go into detail about how to paint them and the process. It's really hard. Just kidding, it's not hard at all to paint your shelves. It was actually fun. And it's a lengthy process, that's all. And I do look kind of messed up in some of these parts of the video, but please, just excuse my crazy hair and stuff because I was painting and just doing all of that. So just excuse all the, the madness. And yeah, you guys enjoy. Let's get this started. Yes, yes, sir. Good. And it's got the presets right there. Yeah, so you can press. I like this one more than the other one. It doesn't tell me. Gosh, I haven't had my nails done, guys. I'm sorry. All the way up to 50. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. So, you know, we went to go try to buy my... Um, my desk but they have to order it so I don't get one right now that's completely fine but they are still gonna honor like a sale price that's why we had to go today so I'm really glad that they're gonna honor that and it comes with um, a, a plug box that is really actually stylish because you know you hate having extensions so but Today is the day I finally really start my little YouTube studio slash just personal room for me. I'm gonna be doing my bookcases. I'm gonna paint the backs of them, the Billy bookcases that we went crazy for at Ikea and my boyfriend finally found them and went to go get them ASAP because we knew they would be sold out soon. So today I'm gonna be painting them and I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit of the progress, really just time-lapsing it. Let me show you what I've transformed the garage into. Look y'all, I put two tables so I could sand everything. I've got my tools. And yeah, I'm ready. All right guys, so first things first, we're gonna sand. So these are all the pieces that we need to sand. And we're gonna sand with this. So after laying out all of the pieces that we needed to sand, I am using a sanding sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and sand all of the laminate pieces that I have. And I'm just going to get them to basically take off that last coat they have on that makes them real shiny and laminate. You just want to get them a little bit rough. This is a really important step for anyone painting something laminate because if you do not do this, then you will experience some difficulties because the paint will just not want to stick. So we are done sanding. We wiped them off with a wet cloth and then a dry cloth. And we both watched videos. First he told me that he watched some videos. So I was like, okay, I should too. So we learned all this from YouTube. And now we're putting the primer on. And I'm excited. Careful. Guys, everything is linked in the description. But right here with the primer, just make sure to give it a nice thin, even coat. Just a small, thin one. Do not go overboard. Okay, y'all. So while my backs of bookshelves are drying, 
with the primer on them. We are now doing the building. So I'll do some time lapse here. Yay, and they're going on this wall. Hold on. They're going on that wall right there. Y'all can remember it was that color and now it's white. So we're putting them like basically that corner in some of this wall. And here's everything. Okay, so it's been an hour or more. Um, we're gonna now paint the backs of my shelves and they are dry. I didn't even think when I put my hand on it. Um, and I'm really excited to see this color, you guys. It's called Brown Cherry and I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be a beautiful color. It's so pretty, My gosh, it is pretty. We have to mix it because we got, well, I decided to get the cheaper one. At first we got a, the more expensive one and then I got a cheaper one. I mean, the same shade, but you can get a different mix. One had more water, so we're having to mix them. Okay guys, I'm about to start. It is very watery. Hopefully that isn't, wasn't a bad idea of mine. Oh God, now I'm worried. Right? Moi? Okay guys, I'm worried. I'll see you. Maybe it's watery because this is watery. That's part of the problem. Okay. You gotta wet these. The internet? You wet these a lot though. What do you think I should do? Okay guys, I will be showing you guys the end result. <laughs> and I'm in trouble because, you know, you're supposed to pre-wet your brushes, but I pre-soaked them. Coat two, because I don't like it just with one coat. Hi guys, good morning, well, good afternoon, because we went to sleep at 7 a.m. because we're crazy. Um, today is day two. It is the last day of painting my bookshelf. And we kind of just set up my room. Well, Moy did his hardworking hands. He put everything together. So we just have to put the backs on. I don't know the pattern I want yet because we can move these little shelves. The smaller ones, I think I want it in between the two big shelves, but it's looking so good. We're about to go lay the last paint layer on. So last night before bed, we did go ahead and put one more coat on. So this last coat will actually be my fourth coat. But something important that I forgot to tell you guys was to do your last coat with a paintbrush. Like the one that is linked below. So this is the finished product of us painting. This is the last coat. Exciting, just waiting for them to dry. I'm hoping it has a brushed artsy look. Importantly, guys, look at the back of my bookshelves. I love the brush strokes. Right now, I'm actually very happy with them. I'm, at this moment, I'm content and that was crazy because, because I did not think that I could get anywhere near content with the way that things were going. Hey guys, so it is Sunday night. I mean, it was day two of painting. He is currently building my shelves because they dried and now he's building them. And I am gonna go take a sneak peek at how it's looking. I know you guys agree with me. They look so beautiful in here. I love the pop of color.
Guys, look how beautiful it looks. How much more beautiful it looks with the extensions. So they'll be all across. It really looks so good. I'm in love. And this is all Billy bookcases. And I'll end up, well, my boyfriend will end up putting the crown molding. Because then that way it looks built in. But huge shout out to my boyfriend for helping me. You're welcome. I do. You deserve it. Next, we'll be decorating my shelves. So, bye guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye guys. See ya.